Today we are going to talk about a surprisingly deep topic. How large scale systems generate unique IDs without collisions. Hi there, welcome to Tech and Career Bytes. I'm a software professional with over two decades of experience, including seven years in leadership roles at a global product based organization. Generating unique IDs sounds simple, right? But when your system grows from 100 users to 100 million users, generating unique IDs becomes a serious engineering challenge. Databases struggle. UU IDs become inefficient and distributed nodes collide. So today we will break down five practical ID generation strategies that real world systems use. I will walk you through code snippets, configurations, examples and when to use which strategy. So let's begin. Let's start with the most basic approach. Using your database to auto generate IDs. In MySQL and Postgres, this is as easy as shown here. The database guarantees uniqueness, ordering and simplicity. This works beautifully until you scale. Why it breaks at scale? Let's discuss that. You have one writer as all writes must go through the same node. The DB becomes a bottleneck. If you use master save replication, only the master can generate IDs. Multi-region architectures, impossible or difficult to achieve without hacks. For example, consider this failure scenario. If two database nodes accidentally generate overlapping ID ranges, you get collisions. So when to use this simple auto-incremented DB IDs approach? This approach is recommended for simple monoliths, medium-sized systems and internal tools. As soon as your traffic spikes or you break the monolith, this approach collapses. So we move to strategy two. UUIDs are decentralized. No DB involvement, no coordination. Each service can generate IDs independently. The output looks something like this. Let's quickly go over the pros and cons of this approach. The pros are practically collision free, works offline and amazing for distributed microservices. But what is the downside? UUIDs are 128 bits, making it heavy for indexes. They are not sequential, leading to over index locality. They hurt DB performance at scale. This causes pages in the B tree index to split more frequently. The result is that your write throughput drops. UUIDs solve the distributed problem, but they damage the database efficiency. What if we want IDs that are both distributed and ordered? That brings us to the Snowflake family. Twitter created Snowflake to generate 64-bit time-ordered distributed safe IDs. The structure looks like this. Let's implement a simplified Snowflake ID generator in Java. This is amazingly fast. Millions of IDs per second per node. But is this approach perfect? What are the trade-offs? There are a few problems with this approach. First, clock skew causes ID jumps. If the system clock moves backwards, the system fails. This approach requires NTP time sync. Some of the real world systems using Snowflake variants are Twitter, Instagram, Discord, payment systems and logging pipelines. So Snowflake solves ordering speed and decentralization. But 
what if you need stronger consistency sometimes you want strong consistency across the cluster in such cases systems use zookeeper or etcd to coordinate id generation here is an example of zookeeper sequential zenode creation this generates nodes like as shown etcd also supports automatic counters or use the etcd api to check if the key id does not exist and generate it only if it does not so what are the pros and cons of this approach let's discuss the pros are strongly consistent this approach is safe in multi writer environment and it is simple to reason about the cons are this approach adds latency becomes a single dependency and this approach is slower than local generation zookeeper style id generation is safe but slower let's combine the best ideas and build a hybrid modern systems often use hybrid id formats tailored to their needs typically combining time shard sequence and a bit of randomness the java code shown here generates a hybrid id why hybrid strategies are powerful because they generate globally unique ids they produce time ordered identifiers embed useful metadata directly inside the id they support very high throughput and they work beautifully in multi region architectures some real systems that use hybrid id strategies are instagram which mixes time with randomness firebase push ids sony flake and baidu's uid system and most modern fintech and e-commerce companies hybrid formats are the gold standard today for very large systems so after understanding all five strategies how do we choose you can refer to the table shown here so the next time someone says let's just use uuids ask them what's your scale do you need ordering how many regions this is small decision impacts system performance for years if you found this video helpful give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting tech topics do check out our other videos on software performance optimization case studies coding system design big data and career growth my name is rupa and i thank you so much for watching this video see you next time